I've been asked on the channel about this particular shot here where we're trying to pop the black into the corner pocket and the black is inch, inch and a half away from the cushion. Well, first and foremost, let me just say that this is a very difficult shot. So that's point one. And in a match, you'd have to question whether it is the right shot to take this shot on at all. But let's assume we're taking the ball on, we're taking the shot on, and we want to pot it. Well, the first thing that I want to do is just relate back to one of my videos where we talked about a blind pocket, right? So a blind pocket is one where the white ball may be here, and we've got to try and pop the black into this corner pocket. Now what I advocate with that is that we come down here and we see the line of the shot. That's point one. Now having looked at that, we then move on to the, keeping our eye on the black, we move into position to play the shot. Now it's no good looking at that line of shot and then looking away and then just moving. That defeats the object. What I'm asking you to do and to think about is if you need to chalk your cue, don't look at the line of the shot, and then look away chalking your cue and then move. No, that's no good. So we'd need to chalk the cue, look at the line of the shot. Now keep your eye on that black and the line of the shot. Just keep your eye on it as you move into position to play the shot. And then we can get down to actually play the shot. Please believe me, doing that little, that pre-shot routine will help you. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming back to this shot, right, where we're at a, quite a, an acute angle, very difficult shot, and again, I reiterate, <laughs> I would think twice about taking this on in a match. Certainly, I'd be thinking more about playing safe. But, I've been asked the question, how can I get success with this shot? Well, the first thing, we use the same setup as we did in the blind pocket scenario. So we come here, we see the black going to the pocket. Now keep your eye on that black and that line of shot as you move into position. Okay, and it does help to play the shot. We're visualizing the black going along that line away from the cushion. The next thing I want to say is if we refer back to the ghost ball theory. So here we've got the red in the ghost ball position. And start talking. And if we were playing that shot from this angle, I'm replacing the red with the white, fair enough the ghost ball method is fairly accurate. It falls down when I come to this angle because what tends to happen, okay, I'm replacing the red with the white, there'll be a slight squeeze effect on this black and instead of going in a true line along the cushion there, it will start to go towards the cushion. So there's a squeeze effect which takes that black to in that direction when we want it to go in that direction. So what tends to happen here, we take the red away and I would always play that shot with a little touch of right hand side. So if we think about the right hand side, it is spinning in that direction and then when it hits the black, it will kick the black that way a little bit, marginally, and help it to go on its correct line, all right? So invariably, I, most good players would play that shot because of the angle with a little touch of right hand side. So let's give it a go and let's see if we can get some success. So the first thing I'm going to do, come round here, see the line of the shot. Keep my eye, up, my eye on that black. As I walk round, I'm still seeing the line of the shot. A little touch of right hand side and let's see if we can kick the ball into the pocket. managed to keep it on the line correctly, played it a little bit too slowly, 
I need to iron this table, <laughs> right? But at least if I'd played it at the right pace, I got the line of the shot and it would have go in, gone in. So that little touch of right hand side will help that shot, but also looking at the line, coming round here, seeing the line of the shot and play it. But again, I come back to my first statement. I would think twice about playing that shot in a match. All right, that shot is very, very easily missed. And I don't care if your name is Barry Stark or Ronnie O'Sullivan, that shot is very easily missed. Good luck with your practice. Mm -hmm.